Brooke, it's such a privilege to have you back on the Gulf Coast in this exciting time in your life and the lives of all the young women on stage tonight. <laughs> Commissioner Hudson, we're so proud to have Mobile supporting distinguished young women. Thank you for welcoming us into the Mobile family. We've been welcoming young women into our Mobile family for 58 years, and we are so happy to be involved with a program which empowers young women while awarding excellence in five categories of judging. Well-rounded young women have the opportunity to earn scholarship dollars in interview, scholastics, talent, fitness, and self-expression. Each of those categories is assigned a percentage, which when compiled will give us the Distinguished Young Woman of America, a representative of the class of 2015. That's right. But we need to remind the audience that there's only three judged categories that are going to be showcased on stage. Talent, self-expression, and fitness. Prior to everyone arriving in Mobile, we had a select group of academic scholars evaluate each participant's high school transcripts. 20% of the total score is accounted for from these scholastic judges' points. In addition to scholastics, I understand that each young woman spends 10 minutes in a personal interview with a distinguished panel of judges. From information the participants provide, the judges question them and try to learn a little more about their opinions and worldviews. How did you feel about your interview, Brooke, especially since it counted for 25% of your score? I definitely was nervous. However, the judges do an amazing job of creating a comfortable environment for each girl. And then there's the talent competition. I'm always so impressed to see the caliber of the talent displayed on stage. Seeing how this category counts for 25%, I know all these girls have worked really hard to perfect their presentations. Yes, but it doesn't end with Scholastic's interview and talent. Being a distinguished young woman means being responsible and making sure that you take the effort to be successful. I can see that, which brings us to the final two important areas of the competition, self-expression and fitness round out the judging, each receiving 15% of the total score. When all the ballots have been marked and scores have been tallied, a new distinguished young woman of America will be named and will serve for one year as the representative of thousands of young women all across America. And it all happens right here every June in Mobile, Alabama.